Hi guys, I got asked about my favourite Windows shortcuts and I thought I'd share my top picks with you. The shortcuts are game changers to get around your PC faster. I'll leave timestamps in the description, so feel free to jump to any shortcut you want to learn about first. And if you find these helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Counting down from 10 to 1, at number 10, Windows plus Q. This one's great for searching for files and apps. Finding anything on your PC, whether it's a file app or setting super handy, you literally just start typing and you can find whatever you like. I have to search for paint. So you use sticky notes for argument's sake. Notes, whatever you need, you can find it. That's number 10. And number nine is Windows and I. This brings up your open settings panel. With one shortcut, you can open all your settings, adjust your preferences, manage devices, and customize my PC without digging through a ton of menus. Close that one. And number eight is Windows plus P. If ever you need to connect to a second monitor or projector, this shortcut can allow you to choose your display setup. So you normally see like your own screen, and duplicate, extend, or you can just put all your screen directly onto the second screen if you just want to turn off your laptop screen and have it solely on the second screen. Number seven is the gaming bar. For, so for all you gamers out there, Windows plus G is a lifesaver. It opens up the gaming bar. It's packed with features from capture, broadcast, even monitor system performance without even leaving the game. Highly recommend this one for customizing as well. And number six is Windows plus D. This will show you desktop. Let's open up some apps and uh, I'll show you how this works. If you need to get back to your Windows desktop pretty quickly, just press the Windows and the D key and it'll hide everything down to the taskbar at the bottom. If you press the Windows and D key again, everything comes back up. Great way to get back to your desktop. Let's close these down for a second. And number five is Windows plus E. This brings up the Explorer. So you can find all your, like, your downloads, your documents, your pictures. All in one convenient place. Also, if you need to access any external drives, you just take this piece on the left here and it brings up all your drives. Let's close that one. Next one is number four, is to lock your PC. Just press Windows and L. It's always advisable when you leave your PC, lock it just in case someone jumps on it and you're in the middle of something, a piece of work. And as you can see, it's locked the screen. To get back into your PC, just left click anywhere on the screen if you have a password set, you got to put the password in. Press enter and you're back into your PC. And number three is Alt and Tab. This one's super handy if you need to switch between apps really quickly. Let's open up some apps. I can show you how this works. I'm going to start. Let's do a file explorer, notepad, calculator. If you hold your thumb down on the Alt key and tap the Tab key, then release the old key. Here you go. If you hold down the old key, it'll show you a preview of the app you're going to switch to. You can tell which one you're going to switch to by the blue box around it. Okay, let's uh, minimize these out of the way. Move on with our next shortcut. Next one is at number two, is Windows plus Tab, which opens the task queue so you can see all your open apps and manage your virtual desktop really easy. This opens up your task view. So you can see all your open apps and manage all your virtual desktops together. So you can set up more than one desktop. So say if you want a desktop for gaming or editing, you can set up that one. And if you want a different one for like Microsoft Word or typing, if you need a second desktop, just left click on the new desktop. And you can flick back and forth between those two. You can flick between desktops. Mine are all the same. I haven't made any changes. And the last one, at number one, Windows plus A. That opens up the Action Center. I use this daily to check notifications, quick settings, and manage your alerts in one place. So you can see accessibility settings, energy saver, live captions, the night light. This is great for taking the brightness down off the screen if you're working late at night. You've also got nearby sharing and wired displays as well. You can also change your volume controls. Okay guys, these shortcuts save me so much time every day. Which one are you most excited to try? Comment down below. And if you enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe for more tips. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you in the next video.